everybody, it's April. Welcome to my Facebook Live on teach, um, Teaching Your Child Growth Mindset Through Books. And today we're going to be talking about why um, growth mindset is so important to instill to our children um, and how we can do it using books. Before we get into the books, I wanted to talk about two different mindsets people have. So there's um, fixed mindset, which is the belief that um, talent and skill it, you're born with. You're born with talents and skills, which um, honestly holds us and our learners back because it's like we can't choose what talents or skills we inherit, right? Which is absolutely not true. Um, skills and talents can be developed and that is what growth mindset teaches us. Um, and so um, this allows um, the learners and us um, to be able to grow these talents and skills through hard work and perseverance and effort. And um, it's just really exciting that you can develop these skills and these talents, they're not just given to you. And um, realizing that effort and um, dedication and all those great things um, is what's really important and will open doors and opportunities. And that's really what we want to instill in our um, learners. So why teach growth mindset? The biggest thing is that it um, encourages a desire to learn and when your learners are um, when your students are encouraged and um, to learn and they have a desire for it then they they embrace challenges um, and um, they embrace challenges because you don't learn anything when you're doing something easy right you learn it through the hard things and in doing so, they build perseverance. They realize that effort is important, not the outcome. They learn um, from criticism and mistakes. They're, they're not afraid of criticism or mistakes because they know they can learn from it. And also, um, they are not jealous of other people's successes because they are instead inspired by it and they learn from it. And so that is why growth mindset is so important. Um, so the first book that I have for you is actually a book for us, for the parents, because I fully and wholeheartedly believe that um, our kids learn best by example. And so if they learn best by example, we need to roll, we need to model this out for them, right? So this book is amazing in teaching us how to act out growth mindset, how to, um, you know, speak the language, things like that. And so um, this book, I actually read, um, I, I listen to it um, in the car and when I'm, um, you know, cleaning up the house, I listen to it on Audible. And so I have it on my phone right here. And it's Mindset, um, The New Psychology of Success by Carol S. Dweck. And she talks all about how growth mindset has a positive impact in not just our kids, but um, our relationships, um, business, work. Um, every aspect of our life can have a positive aspect or a positive um, experience through grow growth mindset. So um, one chapter in particular talks all about how we can instill growth mindset in our kids. And I really feel like anyone who is working with kids, whether you are a coach or you have a kid of your own or um, you're a teacher, a counselor, um, I really think that they should um, anyone who is involved with kids should read this chapter because it talks a lot about um, one thing in particular, how we give praise. And um, there is a right way. She says that there's a right way and a wrong way to give praise. And this blew my mind because I had been giving 
praise the wrong way. This in um, this entire time before um, growth, uh, before I stumbled onto growth mindset. So um, she gives this example of a student that comes home and is really excited and tells her par their, her parents that she got a hundred percent on her spelling test and she didn't even study. She didn't even work really hard and she got a hundred. And the parents are like they praise her by saying wow you are so smart you gave no effort at all you didn't even study and you got a hundred now of course immediately initially the child is going to feel really really good but um dweck talks about what that underlying message is praise has a lot of underlying message messages and that message that they just said basically um, implies that oh if she does something um, without any effort and it's easy and it, um, you know she does it well without any effort and it's easy then she must be smart so therefore she needs to do things that are easy that um, come to her right away or else she's not smart and so then we're steering her into uh, if we say those types of things, we're steering our kids into the fixed mindset instead of the growth mindset of um, hard work um, is the important part. So um, what Dweck suggests is to not praise the kids at all, which again blows my mind. Um, to not praise the kid and say that, oh, that was way too easy. Maybe we should find something more challenging for you. So you should be praising the effort, not the outcome. And that is something that I am still working on. And I know that, um, you know, everyone um, can get into it and um, get the kids excited about embracing challenges and not just sticking to the easy comfort of, um, of skills and concepts that come to them right away. That's not going to make them um, learn, right? It's not going to encourage them to grow their brain. Um, so this quote in particular is um, really resonates with me. It says, if parents want to give their children a gift, the best thing they can do is to teach their children to love challenges, be encouraged by mistakes, and enjoy effort and keep on learning. And that is definitely something that I want to instill in my son. And um, I hope that I instill in the, the students that I tutor and I teach. And I'm sure that you want the best for your um, children and students as well. So we're going to get into um, children's books now. And I'm going to have a link of all of the information of the books that I talk about in the description box. Um, but this first book is called The Dot, and it's by Peter Reynolds. And this book is for learners who get so frustrated with um, something that they can't do that they don't even try. So this book is really good for growing um, their growth mindset for that. So um, uh I'm just gonna walk us through a little bit of the book. So um, Vashi here is in art class and uh, her paper is empty because she doesn't think that she can draw. And so um, the art teacher encourages her to just make a mark. And frustratingly, she, may, she jabs her pencil into the paper and um, the teacher asks her to sign it. She takes the paper and signs it and the next day Vashti comes into our class and sees her um, dot hanging up with a picture frame on it um, above her uh, teacher's desk and she gets mad because she says oh I can do better than that and that one one act inspires her to start drawing all different types of dots to the point where she starts inspiring others to start drawing their own pieces of artwork. So I love this book. This book is really good. Um, this next book is also by Peter Reynolds. I love him. He, um, oops, wrong slide. Uh, this book is called Ish, 
And um, this book is for those perfectionist learners, uh, those perfectionists who um, they won't try anything unless they know they can get it perfectly right. So um, in this book, Ramon um, loves to draw and he draws anything and everything until one day um, his older brother makes fun of him and um, he, it shakes his confidence and so he um, decides that he can't draw anymore. He's just not good enough. And then his little sister, he notices that his little sister is picking up all the crumbled up pieces of artwork and running into her room. So he follows her and sees that she's hung them up on the wall. And um, this part really um, resonates um, with how things don't need to be perfect in order to start. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. And so that teaches Ramon that um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Something that you draw or something that you do doesn't have to be exactly uh, the same as what you see um, someone else do or something that you see. And so that um, kind of lights him up and energizes him to just freely um, draw um, tree-ish things, house-ish things, boat-ish things. So this book is super cute and it just encourages the students, uh, the learners to start um, regardless if something's going to be perfect or not. Uh, this next book is called uh, Amazing Grace and I love this book. This is by Mary Hoffman and Caroline um, Binch. And in this book, Amazing Grace, um, Grace loves stories. She loves to listen to stories. She loves to act stories out. And one day, um, her class puts on a Peter Pan play and her teacher asks the class who would like to play Peter Pan to audition for Peter Pan and Grace raises her hand and um, her some of her classmates say oh you can't be Peter Pan for one you're a girl and two you're black so obviously she goes home devastated and talks to her grandmother and her her mom and her um, grandmother and mom inspires her by taking her to people that um, do amazing things without um, anyone's permission. Um, so they do things regardless of whether or not people think that they can do it. And this is so great because now she feels like she can do anything. And that is such an amazing lesson to teach our children that they don't need anyone else's permission to become what they want to be. They, um, with hard work and dedication and growth mindset, they can be whatever they want to be. So this is another great book, Amazing Grace. The, um, I keep going back. The, uh, next book that I have, I hope I was doing the slides right. I think I'm hitting them wrong. The last slide that, or the last book that I have is called, um, Vera, or it's called A Chair for My Mother by Vera Williams. And this is a book that I remember reading when I was a kid. And, um, this book is about, uh, a daughter and a mother and a grandmother and how they save up all of their change little by little so that they can get um, her mother a uh, a soft comfortable chair for her to rest in after a long hard day so um, it talks about um, them saving up and wanting um, the couch or the the comfortable chair um, it talks about uh, a family setback that they had when they um, their their home burnt down and how they had to start all over. And um, then once um, they filled their jar up, 
Then they talked about uh, the invent the adventure they took in getting a brand new uh, chair for her mom. So this is great at teaching patience in saving up money. Um, little by little, it teaches perseverance. Um, you know, they had that big family setback and um, they could do nothing but just start over. That's definitely perseverance and um, family togetherness. So this book is awesome. So all those books are great for growth mindset. So um, they're great conversation starters if you're not sure how to uh, talk about growth mindset to your children. And I also have a free uh, download that you guys can um, grab. It is a growth mindset coloring pages. And they're just fun coloring pages that uh, your um, child can do. And while they're doing it, you guys can talk about the growth mindset quotes. Mistakes help me grow. Challenges make me stronger. Um, and I can do hard things. Share it with, um, share this Facebook Live with anyone who you think would be interested in um, learning about growth mindset or um, they, or if they'd be interested in the coloring pages, any of those things. Bye guys.